U.S. Secretary of State discusses Gaza situation with Arab officials, U.N. Secretary General condemns Israeli attack on ambulance, calls for ceasefire. According to Reuters, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with his counterparts from Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, and the Palestinian representative in Jordan on November 4. The U.S. State Department said that the officials discussed the possibility of a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, as the number of casualties in the fighting between Israel and Hamas is rising rapidly. The Arab countries called for an immediate ceasefire, requested that the international community provide humanitarian assistance and put forward measures to ensure regional security. The State Department statement said. The day before, Secretary Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. At the meeting, Blinken urged Tel Aviv to temporarily cease fire for humanitarian purposes. However, Netanyahu said he would not cease fire until Hamas releases all hostages. UN Secretary General calls for cease fire. According to CNN, on November 4, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres spoke out about an Israeli army attack on an ambulance in the Gaza Strip. The attack killed 15 people and injured more than 60 others. The humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip is horrific. I am appalled by the attack on the convoy of ambulances in front of El Shifa Hospital. Guterres said. According to Guterres, Hospitals in Gaza are running low on food, water, medicine, and fuel. The UN shelter in Gaza is operating at four times its maximum capacity and is also facing shelling. The UN Secretary General stressed that he does not forget the attacks by Hamas but called on Israel to stop the blockade and harm to civilians in the Gaza Strip. He also called on the parties to cease fire and to release the hostages.